you got your Elgato Wavelink software and you're really stoked. You're like, this is an awesome setup. Be it if you had it in USB version or you have it in the Wave XLR version like I have. I get to use my own XLR mic, but it's really like the software that lets you do so much and I really love it for streaming because routing the software is like one of the most important things you can have when you're streaming. And in past products, we only had one or two items that would do that on any level. And having this as ease of use has been incredible. So let's go and look at that Wave software and just check it out for a sec. So here it is. Here is the Wavelink software. And I'm gonna just do a real quick look. Here's my mic as we can see it right here. And I use Firefox for my music when I'm using Epidemic to do my YouTube videos. So I'll have that come in on a separate track. And then I have another browser that I'll use separately, like if I'm playing videos or something like that on YouTube. So I can control two different volumes at the same time with two different browsers. And um, then I have my uh, sound effects right here where if I push anything on my uh, stream deck, I can adjust the sound effects volumes. And then I have the Spotify and my system. And then there's are three other tracks that I'm not using, but I just wanna show you, you can use up to eight other tracks besides your mic input. And so that's a really cool setup and it's super useful. But here's the thing, right? You're using it in your streaming and you have to kind of like tab out to fade things up and down with your mouse. And that's become like really distractive. And it's hard enough to already stream and do what you're doing with another thing added to it. And you're like, man, if they just had something built in to the system, it'd be so awesome to be able to just have a physical fader to fade it up and down. Well, I think we kind of have that answer uh, right now, which is I've been using something really cool and it's called the PC panel. The PC panel has allowed me to do exactly what I've been looking for. And I just want to give you a little look of what it looks like. It's this piece right here on top. Um, this is my Wavelink software and you can see the PC panel pro the PC panel pro has four different sliders. So you can make these sliders adjust to any one of these channels that is in your Elgato software, but then not even that you can go on top of that and add these five buttons and knobs. So yeah, I'm saying like buttons and knobs because they're really knobs first and then I can push them down and it's a button also. So it's really useful. And the great thing is this PC panel is integrated with OBS and Voiceometer already. It's built into their software and the unit itself is pretty small, which I really wanna show you right now what that unit looks like. So here's uh, a picture of my desktop. I'll bring in, this is a picture of my desktop. The unit is about the size of my hand and it sits right on my desk. And yeah, it's RGB. You can mess around with the lights if you want for that matter, um, but it's really built solid. It's got a nice metal enclosure all the way around and it's got like this plexiglass top. It's a little shiny and you'll get some finger marks on there. Yeah, but overall, I'm really happy with the how it's built. And all you have is a connector at the top for a USB connection. It's a USB-C, so I really like that. I want you to take a look at the screen at the same time when I move this. And this is, shows you how responsive this software is. So here I'm moving this slider. And look at the slider on the screen. It is moving like right in unison with that. And that's really cool to see that the software is not laggy. So when you're using it on your desktop over the top and you want to come in and you're streaming and you're fading down, you could see like really how useful that is. And I'm really happy with this because it allows me the freedom to break away from the screen. Cause when I'm streaming, I'm already concentrating on several other different things. So it just makes my life that much easier, but it, I'm really stoked about it if you can't tell. But if you take a look, we have two versions here. This is the pro version and this is the mini. So the mini just has these four knobs 
and they act as buttons also. I decided to go for the Pro for um, 30, 40 bucks more. It just does so much more and it made total sense to get the Pro version. So the Pro version is super awesome. Yeah, the lights, you got the lights and you could see some pictures of what it does. But here's, here's what's really cool is that these knobs, they can change audio output devices. They can run a command and open a program. I mean, so it's not just your audio. You can literally open programs like you would like by pushing a button like a stream deck. And then you can execute key combinations. You can press media keys to have it go to like next tracks, back, stop, pause. Um, and it has the OBS integration in it too. And then each slider controls the volume levels and you can control the output, the input volumes. And then also you can have it set up to not be specific to a program or you could. So you, in other words, you can have it have uh, set up to a focused application that is being currently used at that moment. So you can see there's more than one use for this and I'm just using it for basically a volume control for everything that I need it for, but you can definitely be more creative with this. And it's as easy as clicking on one of these sliders or knobs. You just go here, click on that, it pulls it up. And then what I did was a specific device. So I chose it to pick the Wavelink game and you can see that all your audio inputs are in here. So I could have it output to um, my Motu M2. I could have it output to a different channel that I have chosen, or I could just have it go to my Wavelink game. And so my browser audio hooked up to the Wavelink game channel. And then I just basically hit okay. I'm gonna cancel cause it's set already. And then that specific one is hooked right up to this channel. Just like when I move it, I can adjust it, fade in and out. I hope this is something that you can see, wow, like this is so useful. Yeah, I know we wish that everything could be perfect and everything could be an all in one unit. But if you've been streaming and you know that the Go XLR has been the only thing that's been close to this type of setup, having this PC panel that I have at my desk and the Wavelink system all in one here has been a dream come true for me. So it just has made my streaming so much more easier and fun and intuitive that I hope you can see the benefits of this yourself. And um, if you do, please hit the like button. And uh, I did a stream that I'll put right up here of how you can set that up in Windows. And hopefully that could be really useful to you. I would say the only thing that I have had any type of problem with is sometimes you wanna go check if you do a Windows update or say you do a um, update to your uh, Elgato um, software, you want to go back and check and make sure everything is still connected the way it is. And, but otherwise I've had no problems with the integration of everything that I've been using and I'm very happy with it. So the Wavelink software has got an upgrade. I think it's awesome to have this PC panel pro together with this. Like I said, hit a like and let me know what you think about this whole integration in the comments down below. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Have a great one.